Welcome back everybody. Tonight two people are in the hospital, one of them in critical condition after being attacked by bees earlier today over in North Scottsdale. Mike, experts say this may be the beginning of more bee attacks here in the valley. Brianna Whitney is live tonight with what happened and Brianna, what to watch out for. Oh yeah, this situation is just wild. Fire officials believe there were more than 10,000 bees in this hive and one of the men was stung over a hundred times. This all happened at a busy strip mall in North Scottsdale. Bee experts say that big hives like that can be found just about anywhere. A scene that ended like this began with just a normal afternoon. Witnesses said they were walking down the street. Two men, one elderly, walking on the sidewalk near 87th Street and Rain Tree when thousands of bees attacked. Something stirred them up, something got them agitated. Dan Punch is a beekeeper who was not on the scene today, but is familiar with hives in that area. He says bees don't attack out of nowhere, so something set them off, even if it's unknown to paramedics right now. Scottsdale Fire said the elderly man was stung over a hundred times and he is now in critical condition. That's very serious. Depending on the sensitivity to bees, that could be that could be a terminal situation. Scottsdale Fire Captain Sean Athey says the other man threw a blanket over himself and ran to a witness's car for cover. Between that and first responders, those actions likely saved his life. And we carry assortment of uh, medicine that will assist with any type of allergic reaction. Eventually, a beekeeper lifted the lid of a storm drain on the sidewalk that showed a large hive stuck to the lid and firefighters helped spray it down. Punch says bees that make a hive in the ground like that are almost always Africanized honeybees. And once they attack, they don't stop. Run. You know, you don't want to stay there in that in that situation because more bees will come and continue to come, especially with Africanized bees. Officials have not released the identities of those two men yet. That beekeeper said tomorrow he's actually removing a hive that's just about a mile from where this situation happened. So why are we going to start seeing this more often now? Well, the beekeeper says more people are out and about. The temperatures are cooler. They're on walks. They're riding bikes. So you're going to come across more beehives because those bees have been making them all through the summer. He said often that leads to more calls. For bee attacks. Reporting live tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family. All right, Brianna, thank you.